New tonight from your local election headquarters, an apparent winner in the race for Madison County Court Judge. An interesting election after the only candidate at the time the ballots were printed overdosed on drugs. News Channel Line's Andrew Donovan just got off the phone with the Board of Elections in Madison County. So, Andrew, what are they telling you about this race? Well, that overdose, Jeff, is when the parties initiated a campaign for Rhonda Young, so it had to be written in on the ballot. So as the election staff has been going through the write-in ballots, they've now counted Rhonda Young's name written in more than 7,000 times, overtaking Bradley Moses, who has about 5,000 votes. That makes her the apparent winner tonight. There's still plenty of write-ins to go, but the pattern is likely to follow. Now let's give you an update on the 22nd Congressional District. You see the results right there. These are results from election night. It's normal for the candidates totals not to move until next week when absentee ballots are counted and affidavit ballots are ruled valid or invalid. Right now, Williams leads Canole by almost 4,000 votes. But I want you to look um, at something we call the absentee totals. There are about a few thousand of those as well. So I talked to an expert today who analyzes this for a living. He says these uncounted votes, there might not be enough of them, but right now it's a tough math problem for the Democrats. I would not be surprised if a network were to declare uh, Williams the winner at some point uh, in the near future, but uh, given the vagaries of New York ballot counting. We've certainly, um, you know, seen in this area, uh, you know, surprises in terms of of the uh, canvas and certification process in the in the old 22nd district uh, last cycle. Uh, it's uh, it's understandable why networks are being cautious in proclaiming this this one over. There's another number keeping hope alive for Canole. Affidavit ballots filled out by people told that they were voting in the wrong place. There's about 4,000 of those, but many will be ruled invalid. The ones ruled valid will decide this race, Jeff. Andrew, thanks for following this. We will continue tracking election results here at News Channel Line in these tight races. And we've got the numbers posted for you. And anytime you want to check them out, just head over to localsyr.com.